Hello there and welcome back. Thank you all for being here today. In today's video, I want to talk about consciousness, states of consciousness and elevated states of consciousness and appreciating our ability to be tapped into some higher states of consciousness. Now, if you're listening today, once again, I just want to say thank you and welcome. As you all know, my name is Maya Joy. And one of the many things that I love to do on this channel is I love to help people to see things from a little bit of a heightened perspective or see things like from the perspective of the soul or from the perspective of our guides or our higher realm or our soul's journey or all of this kind of stuff. In other words, like I'd love to help people to elevate their state of consciousness and every single life here on earth, every single soul's journey is so sacred and every single soul's journey is just like packed, like packed with all these goals and objectives, like when we come here, we really come <laughs> to achieve a lot of breakthroughs. But one of the main things that almost everybody's like soul blueprint or soul's plan like has in common is that we all come here to elevate our state of consciousness. And this is something that like really, really excites all of us at the level of the soul. One of the things that makes Earth very different than other realities is that, well, two things. So one thing is that on Earth, there is a veil of forgetting. There's a veil of forgetting. And so when we are born into this reality, we actually forget. We, we, we change our consciousness and we do this so that we can one day remember again so that we can have that awakening uh, process. And it's really important for our souls to, for a brief time, to descend into the consciousness of the earth plane. And that's one of the reasons why I love earth. Not to digress, but there's so much joy in remembering again. There's so much joy in remembering again and being able to elevate our state of consciousness. So sometimes I think our souls elect to come here because of the joy of remembering. And the only way to be able to remember and rediscover all the love and wisdom and like beauty of your soul is to forget it first, right? It's really kind of funny if you think about it. So earth is really unique for that reason because you have to forget in order to come here, in order to enter into, if you didn't forget, you wouldn't be able to be like a vibrational match for the planet. Um, the other thing that makes Earth really unique relative to other realities of the soul is that there is a cornucopia of states of consciousness that exist here. And this is not the case, like, in other places. So you can walk down the street and you could walk past someone who is more or less, like, completely enlightened and then you could walk by by someone else who's maybe even holding hands with that person and they could be more or less completely asleep to the truth or reality of their soul. And so there's just all these states of consciousness like all over this planet, right? And sometimes this can be like a little bit confronting, especially in times like these. Like we can see people acting in ways that they would not if they had a higher state of consciousness. And this can be a little bit problematic to us depending on how we approach it. Um, because sometimes we can see people and they're doing something that we would never probably do from our state of consciousness or understanding. And that can lead to like comparison or judgment. How could somebody say those things? How could they act that way? How could, you know, how could they believe those things? Like, and we, in that can make us feel um, a little bit worse and add sort of discordant frequencies to the collective. So I wanted to offer all of you kind of a new way of looking at this and then also just sort of speak a little bit about cultivating higher states of consciousness. Um, so recently, like when I have come across people, souls that is, who are currently still choosing to experience reality from a relatively lower vibrational state of consciousness, 
and I see them, first of all, I like to really honor that. I like to really, really honor that because that's part of their soul's sacred journey, right? And there were times where I was at a much lower state of consciousness than I am now. And God willing, like there will be times in the future where I'm at a much higher state of consciousness than I am in this moment when I'm recording this. So it seems very key to cultivate a great compassion for all the states of consciousness that exist on this planet. And one thing that I've really learned is that you really can't understand or judge the actions of any other being unless you are able to fully understand the state of consciousness that they're in when they have created that experience. Does that make sense? Um, and when we're in these moments where we're really confronted with somebody who's acting from a state of consciousness that doesn't make a lot of sense to us because it's a little bit distant from ours, and sometimes it can be that it's distant from ours in a way where it's much more elevated and we're not able to understand. Um, But in these moments, I think it can be really helpful if we, instead of like judging or comparing or doing those sorts of things that separate, if we instead in those moments can experience gratitude for the state of consciousness that we are in right now and the fact that it is perfect for where we are at on our journey right now. So in other words, let's let's say that you saw something, you know, really violent. You know, maybe you saw somebody act from a state of consciousness where they're really in anger and frustration and they say something terrible to somebody else or harm them in some way. Um... In that moment, I think one of the best things that we can do is sort of breathe, like, and say to God, source, the universe, spirit, our guides, our soul, you know, whatever higher power you believe in, thank you. Thank you for assisting me in elevating my consciousness. Like, thank you for this state of consciousness, which allows me to act from a place of love. Thank you for helping us all elevate our states of consciousness. Thank you for the great awakening across the planet. Thank you for elevating my consciousness to a place of love. Like, thank you for elevating my consciousness to a place of joy. Um, Because, listen, like, we are all connected. And from a different state of consciousness, you or I could be the serial killer or you or I could be the abuser we are all one and all of our souls are made from the light and there are many reasons you know why we choose to have different experiences um, in different lifetimes and if you're having the experience in this lifetime of cultivating your spirituality and I'm assuming most of you are if you're here on the Maya's Dream Channel right Know that that is a gift. That is a very profound gift. And it is truly something to be grateful for. So in those moments where it's like our, oh, like kind of our our ego mind wants to judge other people, instead, try feeling appreciation for the fact that through an amazing set of synchronicities, You have been guided to information, teachings, experiences, which have helped you to elevate your own state of consciousness to a level whereby certain ways of speaking, acting, being, or relating are no longer a match for your frequency. Yes? Yeah. So I just wanted to offer that idea. It's such a small tip, but just... I wanted to help us all sort of reflect on these concepts um, this week. And in some ways, this has been been inspired by questions that people have been asking me recently. I've had people asking me some really interesting questions. Um, People, for example, I had a friend who asked me, Maya, like, this joy, like you, you, you just seem so joyful, like every time you talk and so excited. And where does this joy come from? Like, (laughs) where does your joy come from? You know, is it is it an effortful joy? Or like, and I was like, no, like, this is like a genuine joy. And but I really thought about that. And I was like, where does my joy come from? Like, okay, 
So it ended up being kind of a long story when I was really thinking about, oh, yes, there was a message a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Some of you may know my story when I woke from a coma about seven years ago and the message was life was about joy. And that was kind of the foundation of my new life as my own, all these things. But like really fundamentally, when I ask myself, well, why, why do I feel joy? Well, I realize that it is a gift from a higher power. Like my joy is a gift from a higher power and it's a byproduct of my state of consciousness. Like it's a byproduct from of my state of consciousness. And really seeing like the amazing tapestry that is the life experience and the journey of the soul through the earth plane and like seeing how perfect it is and how every soul's journey is just like sacred and I it's just like I don't know how to describe it but it's just like I'm just so happy because I get to connect every day with amazing, beautiful souls and be able to understand and like really see like the sacred nature of their journey. And I get to do the thing that makes me happier than anything else in the world, I think, which is to connect, like to see the incredible relationship between a soul and their guide and to help cultivate that relationship out of everything like in all of spirituality that's the thing that I love the most like the relationship between the primary guide and any given soul and I get to like work in that terrain and help to strengthen those relationships every single day so like of course I'm gonna be delighted like (laughs) I'm gonna be delighted by that but it also made me realize like that I prioritize elevated states of consciousness in the way that I live. In other words, like every single day for me, for the most part, some days can be a little mundane, right? But like for the most part, every day, like I awaken and I start the morning like with my prayers or intentions to my guides, the angels, God's source, whatever higher power you believe in, right? And typically, like on a typical day, my like prayer my morning like prayer or intention is is really you know something like dear god source the universe like angels guides on this day like please help me to elevate my vibrational frequency and my state of consciousness to a level of joy such that like I could be so overflowing with joy and love And please help me to give it all away today. Like, that's like pretty much like what I want to do every single day. I really want this like so much. And so I don't know, but like something about that, I feel like is something that I meant to share with all of you. You know, I don't know if it's like the desire to give it away or just the fact that like elevating consciousness is pretty much the expertise of these sort of divine beings who assist us, right? Like if you ask them like, oh, you know, today, can you make me like rich and famous, right? Like that's not really like their terrain. Do you know what I'm saying? Like when we pray for those sorts of things, but like if you pray to be like more love or more joy or like have a higher state of consciousness or be able to share your soul's gifts, I mean, that's that's their level of expertise. So I feel like they just are like, okay, yes, like, yes, like, yes. So I think like part of the reason why I feel joy is just like, literally like God's grace for lack of like better term. Um, But it's that intention. And it's like the gratitude, I think, for the for the elevated states of consciousness, like when I'm in them, because when I have like an elevated state of consciousness, and I definitely like all of us like on the human journey, right, we traverse like different states of consciousness and vibrations like throughout any given day, throughout any given week, throughout any given month. But usually you guys like in the span of a week, there might be like a couple days or like half days where I am just overcome like with just like I don't even I just like so much gratitude and joy for life and everything and the beauty of this reality and like when I'm in those states of consciousness I like intentionally choose like to go out in nature and observe the beauty and like listen to music that like just makes me feel so amazing and stuff but I always like express back to spirit gratitude for those states of consciousness I know that they probably won't last forever and they're not meant to and we need contrast to 
grow our souls and understand and everything. But I am just, to my guides, I am just like, thank you so much. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for this amazing state of consciousness that you have gifted me with today. Like, thank you for on this day, like helping me in whatever little way to see this world and this life like a little bit closer to the way you see it. Like to see it through a little bit more, like what I call sometimes less like the God's eye view, right? To see it from the higher perspective and to feel the sanctity of life and all that is unfolding like in this way. And I think when we like set our objectives on things like, states of consciousness, which are really aligned with the soul's goals, like the soul's true goals in our lifetimes, I think like amazing things can happen. And I think when we start to prioritize like our own state of conscious or consciousness or vibrational state or things like that over some other objectives in our life, like in a way it sort of like seems to just like align everything and life seems to flow much better. That's what I have observed. And also, like, when we think of our state of consciousness as a gift, right? Like, when we start to think of it as a gift, not like, I guess there's different ways to think about it. Like, sometimes people can almost um, wear it like some sort of, like, badge or something, and it becomes something that separates. Like, oh, you know, well, I'm at a higher state of consciousness, so therefore, like, I am better, you know, or something like that. And then instead of becoming something that like pulls us all together, like it becomes something that separates us. You know, to me, I think I'm kind of just lucky, right? Like, sure. Like I always had this desire in my life to know like the true unconditional love and joy and everything like that. But really like what's unfolded in my life has been sort of out of my hands. You know what I'm saying? It's um. I am blessed, right? Like, I am blessed and I could easily be in somebody else's body right now. Maybe that person's body, you know, or brain or something like that wasn't as capable of producing the same amount of dopamine or serotonin or, you know, all these different things, right? And they might not have been able to experience those state of consciousness. Um, So I think just honoring the fact that our state of consciousness comes from a higher place, like it's coming from the realm of soul and it's really happening with a great amount of um, assistance from higher beings and things like that. And just really like appreciating the gift that that is and focusing on gratitude for that gift Um, And really asking, how can I use the gift of my higher state of consciousness? How can I offer this back to the world in some way today? I feel like amazing things happen when we start to think in that way. For me, what excites me the most is right now is being a messenger, right? And so I always just ask like in my morning intentions to my guide source, the universe, God, love was his spirit. Please help me today. To be the messenger and to be a messenger of joy and love, like, to as many people as possible, like, or whoever needs it in whatever way, such that I, it's such that it becomes an expansive and generative energy, right? Like, I never want to give so much that I become depleted, right? But please help me to sort of develop this overflow of joy or love and be able to give it away to people who need it today. And then I sort of step back And I kind of allow myself to be guided by my guides, especially to those particular people. And they tell me exactly who. They put the pictures of the people in my mind. And they say, Maya, today, this person, like one at a time, like they'll give me a person's face and then maybe I'll call that person or send a message or whatever. They give me the next person's face. And it's like really amazing. And I just want to, in this moment, I just want to express gratitude for these states of consciousness that I've been able to experience in this life and to my guides for assisting me in cultivating these states of consciousness. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. (laughs) I hope that you guys have enjoyed this sort of informal discussion about states of consciousness and the amazing things that can happen. Like when you focus on gratitude for what really is the miracle of the state of consciousness that you're in right now and allow it to be something that um, 
just adds a little bit of beauty to your life and never something that separates, um, but something that expands, expands your light, right? And if you can find a way to color the world with more vibrancy from your state of consciousness, I think that's something truly wonderful for both you there's a great joy in giving, right? Like for you as a soul, but also for the world at large. And for you, maybe it's not being a messenger. It could be, it could be anything, you know? It could just be like the intention to feel love. Last week we got grounded in love, right? With our video, like to feel love and to increase your aura of love. And then maybe you just walk around in the world and like people, people feel that healing energy of your love. Or it could, it could be anything, Um uh, but yeah, I'm just wishing you just the most amazing, um, just the most amazing state of consciousness today. Um, may you in your own way start to see your life a little bit more through the eyes of your soul. That is my intention for you today. I want to thank all of you for being here on the Maya's Dream channel. I appreciate you more than you realize. Like, Thank you for allowing me to be able to fulfill my heart's desire of being a messenger. It's an amazing. It's amazing. It's so amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to all the angels and guides and everyone who helps to us all to learn and grow our soul and elevate our states of consciousness. It truly is a gift. So many blessings to all of you. Have a great day. And namaste.